Amen. 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 Always good to hear from the major prophets. I don't know about you, but I just kind of get stuck on some of these prophets and read them. And I like their character too. Amen. 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 And so we, we, we thank the Lord this day for this message. Amen. Yes. Amen. I, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get through, but it's power packed. And that is uh, double dose. Amen. Amen. So if I were to put a title of today's message, I would say, right or wrong, but don't get it twisted. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody and say, right, right. Or, wrong, or wrong, but don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Amen. Look across the aisle to somebody else while they still trying to find an idea. <laughs> Chapter 5. Is that right? Right. Or wrong? Or wrong. Just don't get it twisted. Just don't get it twisted. Amen. You know, today some folks got things twisted. Amen. 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 They'll, they'll take a lie and turn it around and make it sound like the truth. They'll take the truth and make it look like a lie. Amen. And sometimes if you don't know where you stand with the Lord and your precept ain't in the right place, you will get it twisted. Amen. Come on, somebody. You see, Isaiah was one known that he was called a God. Uh, you know, in chapter 6, uh, he, he said that it was it was in the year of Uzar, and when he died, and he saw the Lord high and lifted up. And he said, above him was, uh, the Lord was sitting upon his throne, and his, and his, and his train filled the temple. Uh, and above his head was the seraphims, holy angels of God, that had six pairs of wings. Two to cover the feet, two to cover the head, and two to fly with. And each one of these seraphims uh, cried out one to another, crying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Amen. You see, God know he holy. Yes, he does. But he wants to remind everybody around him how holy he really is. Yes. I want you to understand one thing if you don't get nothing else today. Right or wrong, you always remember what's right and what's wrong, but don't get them twisted. Yes. Yes. Because God has said, I'm holy and be the holy for I am holy. Yes. Don't get that turned around. Don't think in moderation, if I just sin a little bit, I'll be all right. No, your mind is twisted. Amen. 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 You want to be able to sustain from any kind of sin. In fact, all the Lord's father say, sustain from the very presence of evil. You know you're going to get in trouble, you better think through the process. Amen. Amen. Because it ain't me you got to please or satisfy, it's God. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So I want you to understand that Isaiah was a major prophet. And he dealt with major issues. Yes. Issues that plague the church even to this day. Issues where Isaiah recognized that even though, Lord, I am unclean, I am among an unclean people. Yes. How can I preach and teach them if you won't clean me up? And before Isaiah could get the rest of the words out of his mouth, Isaiah, behold, look. Yeah. Around the altar, God was an altar burning with hot holy coal. Yeah. Yeah. One of the sour friends that, that was crying, holy, 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 went past the altar, picked up a tongue, and picked up a hot coal, and flew up with Isaiah. Before he knew it, he put it on his mouth. You and I in the natural would say it burned his mouth for us, but God had a way of sanctifying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Sanctification is a part of our life. Yeah. It's a part of this walk that we're in. And I want you to understand one thing. Every day you got to get up and ask for forgiveness and ask for sanctification in your heart. And when you get up, don't get it twisted. Yeah. 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 Don't think you should be second-guessing God. God don't need to be second guessed. He's already holy. Amen. Amen. So all we have to do is uphold what? I am the body. Amen. And God will uphold us. Amen. Amen. Chapter 5 here, verses uh, 9. 
the Vicea began to read. And y'all pray much for me this morning. I was, you know, going through a touch of uh, something in my chest and I wasn't breathing. But just pray much for me, amen? amen. So if I rest in between, it's time to keep my breath together, amen? amen. Chapter 5, verse 9, he says, In my ears, saith the Lord, the host, of a truth, many houses shall be desolate. Even great and fair uh, without in heaven. Yea, ten acres of uh, vineyard shall yield one. Bath and the seed of uh, Homer shall yield an ephah. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong dreams. That continue until night, till wine inflames them. You gotta be careful of touching alcohol. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. It inflames you in more ways than you can possibly imagine. Amen. You know, they don't call it spirits for nothing. Amen. Amen. You go to the store and it says spirits across the liquor store. Yeah, yeah. What kind of spirits are they talking about? When you start drinking, you'll pick them spirits up. Amen. Amen. Verse 12 says, And the harp and the violin and the tambourine and the pipe and the wine are in their feast. But they regard uh, not the works. Now I love this part. They so high intoxicated, they don't regard the works, neither consider the operation of God's hand. Sometimes folks can't even see what God is operating. Amen. Therefore, my people are gone unto captivity because they have no knowledge. God said my people will perish for the lack of knowledge. Why? Because we need knowledge to know what's right and know what's wrong. Whereas that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and to part from evil is understanding. When you know what is right, you do the right thing. When you know what's wrong, you depart from what is wrong, and it will show within your spirit you have understanding. Amen. Because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dry up with thirst. Therefore, hell have enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude. And their pomp and their rejoice, and that he that rejoice shall descend into it. And the mean shall, and the mean men, see that there? And the mean men shall be brought down, and the mighty men shall be hung, and the eyes of the lofty shall be hung. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. And God is the holy that is holy shall be sanctified in what? Righteousness. Everybody read verse 16 together. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment, and God that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness. You better highlight that. Didn't I just tell you about sanctification? <laughs> sanctified in holiness, sanctified in righteousness. And just a few more verses here. He says, Then shall the lamb feed after this man, of their man. And the waste places of the fat ones shall strangers eat. Warn to them that are draw iniquity with cause of vanity, and sin as it were with a cart rope. Verse 19 is my key verse here. They that let him make speed and haste. His work, that we may see it, and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh, un, uh, nigh and come, that we may know Him. And verse twenty is my last verse. I'm sorry. Warn to them that call evil good, and good evil, that that and that darkness for light, and light for dark. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Everybody read verse 20 again out loud for me. Oh, the ones that call evil good and good evil, that the 